stopped. Good stop. Oh, and here's a chance for Brett Finch. Can he go the full length of the field? I think he will. Nobody will catch him. Oh. How difficult is it to play in these conditions with this swirling wind here at Odsall? It certainly was difficult, but both teams had to play in it, and, and they played in it with a man down. Uh, no excuses from us. We were very poor, uh, but we lived to fight another day, so we get to regroup and, and come back hopefully and improve side. Tompkins coming in from that full-back position. Beautiful there. See, for the wing of the Warriors. Yeah, there's a bit of slow-mo going on. Oh, my yes. words. What was your view on that incident there where, where Rayna got sent off? Uh, yeah, definitely a send-off. You know, we, we lost our, our player from it, and so should they. So it was a definite. I thought the referee got it right, but full credit to Bradford. They uh, certainly dug in and played well. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, guys, it's not that kind of player, I think. Uh, he's, a, he's a good bloke off the field and on the field, so I don't think he intentionally done it, but you know, the ref caught it at the time, so the decision's gone, so we just played all of it. Well, you've got a couple of adversity, I suppose, in games, and, and we did that really. We, co we covered for Gaz, and he didn't, he didn't intentionally mean to go through. You've got to make a play at that ball when he's scoring a try, try and knock it out, and unfortunately, he slipped up and hit him afterwards, so we'll deal with that next week, but the uh, rest of the game, we, we stuck with it and uh, we did some good stuff. Good try! Platt has to get back. Platt coming through, oh he's got the full back to beat, he slipped, can he get good, he's still going, he's a big strong lad. Well he almost Just made something out of nothing there, Ray. Eh? Certainly was, Briggs now, go for Nicolas Grubicke, the chase is on. Yeah, we're winning our best today, and sometimes you got to cut through that and you've, you've got to win ugly and it was definitely ugly for us and we didn't win ugly but now you've got to take a head off to Bradford with 12 men to you know, score so many points against us. And, really put us under the pump, you know, it's a massive effort from them and you know, really feel for them. We, we said from the start, we're coming up against one of the best teams and uh, we just wanted to have a tour, uh, never say die attitude today. So very much pl plenty of positives to take away for you guys, even though you didn't come away with the, the, the win there in the end. Yeah, plenty of positive. we just got to hopefully take this form into next week against Salford here at home and uh, it'll be all good. Ball in hand, you guys look great. It was still maybe defensively that you looked a little bit shaky today. Yeah, I thought uh, we weren't defensively as good as usual. But uh, we made a few errors there with the tackles a bit scratchy, so that put our defence under a bit of pressure. Yeah, I think we put a good performance in today, and we are pretty disappointed with it, but it's a massive improvement on where we've been uh, for this first half of the year. And I think we set the standard now, we've got to live up to that standard for the next uh, 13 league games. There's a lot of things we have to work on, but we've got a few days off now, and I think it's a good chance for us, you know, we need a, we need a bit of a break and get away from rugby league for a bit and, and chill out. You guys very much got your eye on a, on a place at Wembley, maybe? Oh, definitely right from the start, you know, we, and I think every, everyone in the club, in the comp does, and everyone in our club, especially, you know, wants to get there, but, you know, we understand we've got to win a couple more games, and today's performance most probably wasn't the best, it wasn't vintage Wigan, I suppose, or what we expect, but, you know, wins a win.